Hey, what's up? It's Doug Covington here. I'm from Niche Site Project. This is one of the Amazon affiliate site Teardown and Critique. So we're going to go through the Sweet Home today. So this is a very popular site. It's part of the New York Times media company over like right now. And this site was originally started by a gentleman named Brian Lamb, L-A-M, who also founded the wire cutter. So two really huge, super successful Amazon affiliate sites. They're they're also active in other affiliate programs, but I believe uh, from what it looks like, and we'll go deep here in a minute, but from what it looks like, they mainly have Amazon affiliate type content. So first off, I'll let you know what we're going to look at here. So We'll start off on my site, Niche Site Project, and we're looking at the, a particular post where I go through a bunch of examples of Amazon sites, and that's what we're looking at now. We'll, then we'll head over to Sweet Home, we'll look at their home page, what I like, what I don't like, and most of it, um, I can tell you confidently that I like it because the Sweet Home is like one of the best in class as far as Amazon affiliate sites or affiliate sites in general. They're experts at you know producing the content, treating the whole thing like a media company, and putting out content that converts well. So we'll take a look at the homepage, we'll take a look at the site, we'll look at their about page and when one of the main differentiators that the Sweet Home has, and then we'll look at three specific reviews of products, which I arbitrarily chose, and we'll sort of like take a look at you know, what's good on those pages, what's bad, um, and really go deep. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll see some of this critical information about the site. Like the founding date was back in 2010, so currently it's like April of 2017, and the site's been around for a while. In fact, uh, you know, 2010, it may as well be a dinosaur in the internet. Next, we see that about uh, 341,000 keywords are ranking in the top 100. Of course, it's super important to have keywords ranking like in the top 10, but even so, the top 100 does give an indication how dominant this site is. Next, we can see that uh, the estimates from SEMrush and similar web vary greatly, like a huge amount, but you can tell that a ton of people go to the site. So SEMrush basically says it's uh, way over half a million, and similar web says it's over three million. Truth is, they're both wrong. It's probably somewhere in the middle. I'm not sure where similar web gets their data or how they make their estimates, but it seems to be a little on the high side uh, from you know what I know on my sites and the traffic that they actually get versus what similar web says. This little image here is from SEMrush and you can see it's been pretty consistent growth, some exponential growth and very, very few downturns. Um, it looks like there have been a couple uh, declines in traffic around uh, a few of the Amazon updates, sorry, Google updates, that is, not Amazon, any of these red marks indicate um, usually a Google update. So we see there's a little decline here, but they eventually recovered and now they're doing quite well um, as of 2016. Of course, it's 2017 now. I pulled this data a little while back, but it's still uh, quite accurate. Next, we move on to some of the metrics. We see the domain authority is 55, trust flow of 28. They have about 700 pages, and people spend almost two minutes on the site. That's per similar web. Uh, and it also looks like they almost look at two pages per visitor, which is pretty good, especially when you compare some of the other sites that we've tore down. So uh, quick note, if you haven't seen uh, the wire cutter uh, teardown, go check that out. You'll notice a lot of parallels. And then if you want to see some smaller Amazon affiliate niche sites that I take a look at too. Check out the playlist um, for all of these Amazon affiliate examples and you'll be able to get a good idea about what more typical sites are like. So let's check out the homepage here. 
Now you'll see, first off, we'll start right at the top. So they have a, a uh, AdSense banner at the top. And, you know, I don't do that on my sites. I pretty much focus on the Amazon affiliate deals. I'll tell you why they have it here, though. They get so much traffic that it's actually worthwhile for them to do that. So for me, I kind of like to have my content front and center. And I do want people to go over to Amazon. I don't want them to click on the AdSense banner. Um, in, in the cases that I've actually tried that, it was always more profitable to have. Uh, a user go over to Amazon. Next, we'll see a pretty simple logo here. I like that. It's you know text with a small image, uh, very modern and very simple. Um, no, you know, crazy patterns or anything unusual. It's just a nice symbol. All their categories are listed here. So they don't have a huge complex uh, you know, menu system at the top. They just have a drop down menu. So one could you know, pick wherever they want to go to and then they have a search section. Next you'll see they have uh, the small about section here which I really like. Um, it just gives people a little bit of an idea what's going on. Uh, they do mention Wire, Cutter, and Sweet Home are part of the same group and they're also a New York Times company. So that happened in 2016 and Brian Lamb, who I mentioned before, sold his two sites to the New York Times, which is amazing. It was something like $30 million that he sold the two sites for. As we're moving on here, um, you will notice they have like their most or a recent post here uh, with a lot of or sorry, they have a recent post here, and then they have a lot of other recent posts over here on the sidebar here. So they have like several, five or so. So that's interesting. The other thing I wanna point out is they have this new things section here. This is quite a prominent area and they have a banner. So they have a deal section listed here. So they handpick and analyze deals and they have them all listed out here. We will take a look at that in a minute though. So actually I wanted to open that in another tab. So we'll take a look at that in a minute, but not yet. The other part on their homepage here is they have different sections. So appliances or categories rather. Appliances, cold weather gear, they actually have a link over to the wire cutter, which is interesting. So the wire cutter has a similar section here um, that takes you over to the sweet home. So they kind of have a nice uh, symbiotic relationship here where they send traffic to each other, people that are interested in you know, gadgets and stuff to buy. So as you can see, they have the categories listed in pink and then they have specific items listed below it. And these go into the best of type. I mean, these are all just keywords. You could come over here to the sweet home and the wire cutter and basically you'll have a really good idea of keywords that you can go after. So there's lots of different items that they have listed here and they have a small email opt-in section on the sidebar so it's not a high priority for them. If it's all the way down here, uh, you know, we've scrolled down almost three quarters of the page and they just say, hey, you want to sign up? You know, nothing, nothing that they're really pushing. There's no pop-ups. Uh, next, they have a little section about how they work. You know, we'll look a little bit closer at that in the About section. And then, you know, a normal footer type uh, layout here. They have a search bar, uh, you know, a bit of navigation. Uh, as I mentioned, Brian Lamb is one of the folks that founded the site. And that's what it's all about, another part of the New York Times. So let's take a quick look over at the deal section. So as I mentioned, it's really just a curated list. Uh, you can see they updated it five hours ago. So it's a curated list that they update all the time. Here they are sort of prominently displaying an email opt-in. And I like this. Here's why they put it on here. So there are like just deal sites. 
So people that are in the market for deals, things are on sale, a lot of times they'll sign up for an email list. It's time sensitive. So if someone landed on here and they're interested in deals, heck yeah, they're going to sign up and then they'll take a look and see, uh, you know, what what uh, is on sale. So they have all sorts of stuff listed. So they have the latest deals listed here. And then they have, you know, small uh, mini reviews sort of, as well as a call to action. And, you know, there's an affiliate link here on the name. There's an affiliate link on the image and there's one on the button. So they have all sorts of items here. We're not going to look at them too closely, but, you know, shower heads, there's a, a dish rack. So there are all sorts of stuff in this deal section. So that's a nice little addition and not that many affiliate sites have a section like that, but it's a great thing to do. Um, and ni nice image here. So big, high quality image. Uh, and they also have an indication that it's for sale because they have the little coupon uh, symbol on the outside here. Next. Um, we have the how to use the wire cutter and sweet home. So this actually went back over to the wire cutter, even though, um, you know, I click the link here, exactly what we do. Um, so that opened up here. This is essentially the about page. So this is an excellent about page, very similar to, um, you know, some just larger sites in in that they talk about how they test everything. If you're just coming across uh, an Amazon affiliate site, it may be a very sparse about page, um, may not be much information. This is a little bit longer than what I would like normally recommend, unless you're doing a site just like them, which if you're doing a site just like them, you must have a big budget. Because the big thing that they do at the wire cutter in the sweet home is they actually buy all the products, right? They buy all the products and they test them and they go through, uh, you know, this page is so long they have a table of contents, but they go through a lot of effort and they hire very good writers who are experts in the field or the niche or the product line to actually do the testing. So you end up with a really high quality review. So as we scroll down, I'm not going to read everything here, but you could definitely take a look you'll see that they actually show them with a bunch of items. So there's a bunch of earphones there. These are um, pieces of duct tape, right? So they're testing duct tape, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't even realize there were that many different kinds of duct tape. That's pretty funny. As we're moving down, I see um, you know, just more things that build credibility. So this is someone doing dishes. They're actually testing dish soaps, right? Um, they're testing iPhone cases here. They're in the ocean. So they're really serious. And everything on this about page builds credibility. And it actually makes me want to trust their reviews. So that is, you know, overkill, but I would say, you know, some takeaways that you could put on your own sites would be, you know, make sure you have some credibility about the topic. So, you know, they build it in, in other ways where, you know, they have good writers and they also actually buy everything. So if, even if you can't buy everything, you should demonstrate that, uh, you know, you're an expert in the area or something like that, or at least that you kind of know what you're talking about. So let's get into some of the specific product reviews and what I like and what I don't like in their reviews. And we're, we're going to do three. So we'll start off with the best GPS running watch. So again, for the keyword junkies out there, you can see, I mean, best GPS running watch is a keyword and you can find some other long tail keywords by you know, typing in best GPS running watch and then see what kind of auto suggest keyword phrases Google su suggest to you. So we'll see that it's just been updated um, in the last couple weeks. So right now it's the end of April 2017, but this has just been updated. So that's actually a cool thing to see. Up at the top, high quality image, um, and it's not a stock image, right? This is an actual like photo that they took, and it's easy to tell because you know it just looks more real. It looks like something that a person took with their phone. 
That's probably what they did actually. Um, and you know, cool thing, right? So this is, I run a little bit. That's one of the reasons I chose this one, uh, this particular item, but you can see they're on a track, right? So you can see the sort of like orange, orangey brown background with a line. So they're on a track. They have the running watch. I mean, that's credible too. It's a little stuff like that. Next thing is uh, they have, you know, a couple sharing buttons right here. I don't know, um, you know, how effective that is, to be honest with you, because I, I don't share this kind of stuff. And, you know, at least in my, in my feeds, right, I don't see much of this kind of stuff. But yeah, they must test it, and there must be a reason it's it's right there in a prominent section. Um, first thing I notice, and this this is perfect, right? So it's a font that's a little bigger than their normal font. You'll see uh, in a moment when I scroll down, but this is a, little, a large font, and within the first sentence, it, it's towards the end of the first sentence, they have a call to action, and they say the Garmin Forerunner 230 is the best for beginners and advanced runners. So right away, they give a person a chance to get over to Amazon as quickly as possible. That's perfect. I will say this paragraph's a little bit long. You know, it takes up a pretty good chunk of space. Um, I would maybe cut it a little bit shorter, but I mean, this is great the way they have this. Next is they have updates here and they have a long section of updates. So it shows they're so credible. They even update the reviews as more mod as newer models come out as things change they will update it so that's really good to know and as i mentioned it was just updated in the last two three weeks and this is similar um to a few other reviews that i've done but you could see that they say you know the best gps running watch and then they have a cheaper pick and then they have a heart rate tracking without a chest strap. So they have like specific different kinds that people are looking for. And it gives people different options. So there's different price points. So there's like 155, 127, 300. And what this can tell us is that, you know, part of it is people are looking for some long tail keywords, like, you know, best best running watch, uh, GPS running watch, and then fitness tracking, and then heart rate monitor without a chest strap. So those are sort of like long tail keywords if you, again, are a junkie of keyword research. So another thing I want to point out is they have uh, these you know nice call out sections. So uh, white space uh, really sort of draws your eye to the image. This image uh, in, in all these call out sections, so I'll try not to mention it too many times, but the image is an affiliate link. This uh, whole title section, these different color, uh, the heading here, and then the different color uh, name of the product, that is an affiliate link. And then they give you two different choices from Amazon and from Backcountry. Um, so they have two different affiliate links that you can go to here if you wanted to buy from different places. It is interesting that they like there's such a huge price discrepancy here. Like I don't know why someone would buy from Backcountry if you can get it for like ninety five dollars cheaper. I mean that's a little crazy. But they do have two listed here. Um, as we go through, you will see that within the text, the body of the article. They also, whenever they mention the product, they will put a link out using uh, the, you know, the affiliate link. So that's interesting to note, you know, they have the call out sections where there are several ways to get over with the button, the text or the image, and then they have the text in which uh, is also an affiliate link. They do have, um, Let's see, the writer is listed here. So they, again, provide credibility. So they say this person's a writer, a residency trained uh, podiatrist and head distance running coach at a university. So, I mean, this person is a writer, a runner, and uh, they've done some, you know, residency. So almost a doctor or something like that. But 
the uh, the main thing here is this person actually runs. It's not just some random person that doesn't know anything about running watches. They know something about running watches, and they know something about running. So huge credibility, and that's one of the main things you get from the sweet home. They talk about why uh, you should trust them. You know, we kind of talked about it a second ago, but they, you know, go into a narrative about how they tested and why you should trust the person. Looking at the table of contents, they say, they go into, you know, the most common questions. Is your smartphone enough? Now, I used to use my phone um, as like my running tracker, so I know what they're talking about. There's some decent apps, and you know, it just depends on whether you want to carry around your phone. Back in the day, the phones were a little bit smaller, but they're slowly getting larger. So I don't really like to carry my phone around when I'm going for a run, personally. So it is kind of nice to have a smaller uh, like form factor to take care of the GPS stuff. I bet that's what they say here. I'm digressing, like I said, because I'm a runner, but the point is they talk about common questions here, questions that I'm thinking about or the reader's thinking about. So they go through their own pick. They talk about the flaws there. They talk about good features, um, auto syncing upgrade for experienced runners. I don't know what that is, but maybe we'll get to that in a second. They have uh, more details about like the, the heart rate monitors and let's see, they have music on the run, and the competition. So they pick three that were good, but they also want to you know, sh give you other options. So they could probably get in long tail traffic just by doing this. Um, people looking for other uh, models out there. Okay, now as we're going through here, you'll see um, they sort of call out certain uh, buyers or potential buyers. So do you need a GPS running watch? Well, they, t they tell you why you would need those or would not need those depending on what you're doing. So, you know, for me, it was around, I was a little bit more of a serious runner, but it's just kind of cool to have a GPS watch. I mean, I don't run as much now, but I go on hikes. It's pretty cool to actually see um, you know, where you walked, and then it'll tell you the elevation and other interesting information. So I'm sure they go into that here. So as we go through here, you can see that they actually have all these watches. They actually tested them. They used them for a little while. You know, the guy is a, you know, a coach. So there's probably, you know, people that he could, people on his team that he could have, you know, try out the watches and you'll notice they're all set to the right time even to the second so it's it's pretty cool i mean they've organized this really well and you know when you're looking at this site versus some random amazon affiliate site where maybe you could tell that they're using all stock images and they didn't test the items then you know this site has a little more authority and as we're going through you know there's a lot of text and a lot of images. We have another call out section here, which is cool. Very good. All right. And here's the thing, you know, if people are really into a specific uh, like item or interested in getting something like a GPS running watch that they're gonna use for, you know, dozens of hours, you know, they're relying on it for their training. Um, the thing is like, they're going to read this stuff. They're going to go deep. They're going to read all of this. I know when I buy something like this, I do a crazy amount of research because you don't want to like end up with an expensive paperweight that doesn't really do the job that you need it to do. So here we have the built-in heart rate pick. So they have some that actually you know take your heart rate without having to use a like an external chest strap. Um, so as we're going through here, very long, very long uh, review. Here's the competition. So they tell you about some different companies' items. So the Apple Watch gives you some uh, ability to um, you know, record a GPS training run. As we're going through, you'll see that 
there are several, several more. So, I mean, I, this is one of the best reviews that I've seen hands down on, you know, any item. There are so many different items listed here, other, you know, competitor products. So very cool. I mean, this guy did an excellent job. At the very end, you know, they provide the last call to action for their number one item. I really like the way um, the sweet home has this, you know, very clean, a uh, lot of white space around their call to action. So they have, as normal, affiliate link in the image, affiliate link on the title, and then affiliate links on the buttons. And they have two affiliate programs that they're working with on this product. Um, so very interesting. Uh, lastly, they do have sources. So again, to, I guess, prove how uh, authoritative and credible they are, they have these listed. And if you're interested, you can, you know, go deep and, and, and read more here. So let's move on to um, another product here, um, the best white noise machine. So again, pretty recently updated less than a month ago. Because um, a lot of these reviews hold to the same template, I'll be a little bit more brief in this one. So number one, high quality image right at the top. And you can tell it's not a stock photo. It's actually a really high quality image that um, they most likely used a DSLR just looking at, you know, it's in focus right here, but it's blurry in the background. So it sort of tells me um, that maybe they used a nicer camera and lens. Nice short call to action. Within the first sentence, they have an, a, a way for you to get over to Amazon by clicking the affiliate link. They have uh, the small update section as normal. And then a nice call to action here. Oh, interesting. They actually send you to Best Buy for this particular item. And uh, their second choice here is from Amazon, which is just a tad cheaper. They tell you why you may like it. It's more layered and complex sounds, but um, you know it is even a, a bit cheaper. And they have a couple other like alternatives. So I haven't seen this before, but they actually you know allow you to. Um, they send you over to iTunes or Google Play through affiliate links also. So you know the idea here is. You could buy a white noise machine that is, you know, dedicated to, you know, create white noise. But it turns out, you know, almost everyone has a phone. So you could get a white noise app for your phone and then just use your phone, plug it in overnight, and then you don't need to get an external device. Which actually, I mean, now that I'm saying it out loud, that seems like pretty smart. <laughs> like, why do I want another little device here? So as we're moving on, you'll see uh, the, the writer is a research editor for you know both Wirecutter and Sweet Home. She used to be a web editor for the Wall Street Journal, a book researcher, and um, it sounds like she's really well qualified. So she's a good writer, and that is really important. Additionally, as we're going through here, um, she actually consulted sleep experts, a couple PhDs. So, um, you know, that adds even more credibility. So as we're looking through here, we see uh, normal, uh, you know, they have their pick, their flaws, but not deal breakers. I mean, that's always key too. I didn't mention it in this video yet, but I mean, to have a credible review, it's important to point out pros and cons. Next, as we're going through here, um, they have a section on apps. Well, of course they have the runner up, but they have a section on apps. They have a little information about how to use white noise machines and use with uh, babies. So, you know, that's probably a really common usage there. As we're scrolling down, um, we see the signature image that you know, displays all the different items that they're testing. So again, huge credibility since they're actually testing the items. So that's cool. As we're scrolling down, they actually used a sound level test meter to see, you know, how loud these got, which is interesting. 
they have a couple. They have a YouTube video here, uh, a, a bit of their demo, and normal calls to action. Oh, this is cool. They actually have a few videos on here, so you can really hear how the different models uh, are, you know, compared to each other, I guess. So as we're scrolling down, it's a lot of the same um, comparison images, comparison videos. They go deep into using them, and then they talk about you know the apps. Like I said, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, they do mention uh, you know it's why it's not a great use for every night. The sound quality isn't as good. So they they give you like some great insights on why you actually may need to get a white noise machine versus just using your phone. So as we go through, like they have tons of images, but they're not afraid to have you know a lot of text here. You will notice they have like nice subheadings. So there's not more than, you know, four or five paragraphs before there's a new subheading. Occasionally they'll have this um, block quote over to the side um, just to break up the text a little bit. And as normal, they always have a section on the competition, different items that weren't their, you know, top few picks. And again, we have a call to action image is a link, the text is a link, and the button is a link. All affiliate links that'll take you, in this case, over to Best Buy. But, you know, whoever has the best deal is probably who you'll go with, depending on the item. Next, and again, they have uh, this sources area, all the references, and it adds a huge amount of credibility. If someone's super interested in the item, they may go over there for further reading. All right, so the last the last review we'll take a look at is uh, the best electric toothbrush. So again, updated pretty recently, not as recent as the others, but within the last couple months. So that's pretty good. Nice high quality image showing you know how they actually tested all of them. They bought them and gave them a shot. Um, they have the larger font in the opening paragraph. It's kind of long again uh, in this opening paragraph, but the key thing is within uh, the first two sentences, it looks like they have a call to action over to their top pick. So they have um, the signature call out section here with an image that is a affiliate link, the title that's the affiliate link, a little summary about the item, and you could buy, in this case, from Amazon and Walmart. So Walmart also has a um, affiliate program, and it actually pays out pretty close to Amazon. Next is you know the normal runner-up and other you know items that you may be interested in. So in every case, right, image, um, button, and the text are links out to different affiliate programs. So here we have Amazon, Macy's, and Gobi. So you'll see that the Sweet Home and the Wire Cutter both work with you know, whoever has an affiliate program that carry the products. So they have enough traffic and enough clout that they could work with a lot of different affiliate programs. So moving on, we do have you know another uh, like section of a guide. So Casey Johnston is essentially a journalist who's written all over the place. So again, credibility because um, you know she's a good writer, but you know in this case, everyone brushes their teeth. So one could imagine that a person could test these out without being a, a pure expert. Um, let's see. So we have a little why you should trust us section as normal. Um, their picks, the pros and cons, and the flaws but not deal breakers. And then uh, long-term test notes, the runner-up, subscription toothbrushes, care and maintenance, the competition, and wrapping it up. So because it's so similar to the other things that we've covered uh, in the other two reviews, I'll just be a little uh, more uh, brief in the sections here. So you will see you know, the image. They tested them all out gives you a good idea about the size of different items. 
they show you, oh, this is a little different. So readers also like the best bath towel. So this is uh, the first time, at least of the three, that we've seen a basically a link over to another page. So um, I wonder if they're testing this because I don't see it on every single review, but they have you know the title, an image, and a little read more section. So everyone uses a toothbrush, I hope, and everyone uses towels too. So it kind of makes sense to have these together. Um, as we're scrolling down, you know, videos, there's a lot of text here. I'm actually surprised there's so much text on this one. So they have videos, more calls to action, um, very long article here, so I'm going to scroll a little faster. They have their competition section here, so a lot of different um, models are listed here. Um, and we'll also see the footnotes are quite uh, lengthy, so these are fairly deep. They do have their uh, call to action for the number one toothbrush with the normal buttons and affiliate links out. And lastly, they do have sources listed. So the big takeaways here that you may notice um, between the three reviews are, you know, they have references and sources. They have these like nice clean calls to action. And if you go back to the very top, you'll see, um, you know, a nice image and then a nice call to action here um, in the first paragraph. Um, and I think, you know, those are the most important things overall that we've seen. And as I mentioned before, if you haven't watched the wire cutter video, I encourage you to go over there um, to, to check it out. Uh, I guess you could find it on my channel. If you want to get the keywords, actually there's like 15,000 keywords I give away from free on my site, Niche Site Project. So if you go over to nichesiteproject.com slash um, slash YouTube keywords, you can get all the keywords. Actually, if you just get over to the site, you'll find a place to sign up for the email list. You get all the keywords um, for the sites that I've reviewed. So actually, I, I reduce it a little bit. I just give you the first, like most important 1,000 of them, but it's across 15 sites. So you're able to get lots of keywords and sort of see what these sites are ranking for, like the Sweet Home. So if you enjoyed the video, I also encourage you to, you know, consider subscribing to this channel. I provide, you know, information about project management, niche sites, and different stuff like that. So hopefully we'll see you around the blog, and uh, thanks for checking it out.